So yesterday I watched a video by uh, John Heights on small workshop uh, setup and organization. Uh, I believe it's the introductory video to another series of videos, but even by itself, it's a very comprehensive video and has a lot of information in it in a short amount of time. So John did a great job on there. I share a lot of the same ideas with uh, John on small workshop organization. Um, I do have some of my own ideas that work for me. I do also have some things I do that I know I need to change to be more organized. But just like John said, there's the idea and then there's the implementation of that idea and sometimes they don't come together, do they? Um, but I just thought I would share with people what I do for a centralized dust collection system here in this, my small workshop and how it works for me. It's not gonna work for everybody and depending on your, your shop size and layout of the floor, uh, it might not be able to work for you, I don't know. But I thought I would share this with people for what you might be able to get out of it for your own benefit. Um, my workshop is 11 foot wide and it's 25 foot deep. The ceiling here is only 7 foot high, so that's very constricting. So already my workshop is um, a bit smaller than the workshop that John Heights has. Um, in the corner here is where this camera is, and in that corner over there is where my centralized dust collector is. This uh, cyclone dust collector that I made back around 2005 um, is modeled somewhat after the Bill Pence design for a cyclone dust collector. Um, at the time I'd actually emailed back and forth with Bill Pence himself about how I could modify his design a bit to fit here in my workshop because a typical cyclone will not fit uh, in under this seven foot high ceiling. Uh, I have more information and things I could say but I'm going to put those in the description for um, sake of brevity. Um, but just real quick, this here is a five horsepower leasing motor. I have a material empowering here that was from a Bill Pence recommended source. I don't remember what that was. Uh, this is the housing for the impeller is uh, a Clearview housing. Uh, I could have made it, but I decided to spend a few extra bucks and just buy this, buy that part. Um, the body of the cyclone is made from 24 gauge galvanized metal. Um, there are two things that make this quite, not quite different, but somewhat modified from the Bill Pence design. Um, the Bill Pence design calls for the body of the cyclone to be, at the time, I believe 18 inches wide, but it was really tall, so again it wouldn't fit in here. So what I did is I made it more stout. Uh, so this is about 20 to 22 inches in diameter. That allows a little more distance uh, for the air and dust to travel around inside, inside the cyclone to slow down and separate in the cone and dump uh, the dust into the dustbin down there and allow the cleaner air and more fine dust to escape out the, uh, the air exhaust in the back of the cyclone. The other major difference in this cyclone from the Bill Pence is that this cone here should be about one and a half to two times taller than it is for the best uh, separation. Uh, again, I don't have the luxury of ceiling height for that. Uh, this dustbin down here is a plastic one that uh, should be metal and I'm, I have a metal one outside that I'm working on to modify and uh, replace this bin with a metal bin. I do have a Lexan window down here that lets me know when it's full and I do need to empty that this weekend. The air exhaust out the back there and it comes down this 10 inch duct in the back. Um, at, provides a lot of volume, air volume, for the air to slow down before it reaches this, the second stage. The second stage down here has a 5 micron HVAC filter in it to filter out the dust that's, well, 5 microns and larger, hopefully, right? And then the rest of the dust and air that goes up here into the, these two filters. These are rated for half micron filtration. Um, so that's, in a nutshell, the system. Now, the thing that makes this work well in my small workshop is that I have the, this main six inch run going down one wall of my workshop, okay? 
and with that I have all of my major dust producing tools along that wall okay so the first runs or branch branches I have here this is a, a five inch branch that goes down here to my miter saw now I have another video coming up on the miter saw if I can only find time to edit the footage but I'm telling you, uh, you're not going to believe me, but I get about 95%, maybe greater, of dust collection of the large particulate. It doesn't capture all of it. Some of it still bounces around and escapes the flow, airflow of the dust collector. Uh, but on the fine dust, I'm telling you, I'm capturing a good 99% of the fine dust. Maybe 100%. I haven't actually measured it, but I'm telling you, it works really well. This dust collection hose, when we're not in use, just sits up there on top of that hood and it stays out of my way. Um, but when I do use it, I use it over here at my lathe and it doesn't collect the large chips that come off the lathe. This is a tabletop lathe. Um, but it does collect all the fine dust and uh, it collects dust the fine dust when I'm sanding, so that's very important. Sometimes I'll use it and I'll clamp it over here by the uh, drill press and it captures some of the large chips but it also captures all of the fine dust and keeps that away from my lungs. I will also use this for my tabletop planer that I will wheel over here and hook up to that. I will also use it for my bandsaw. When I have a lot of work to do with my bandsaw, like recently I resawed a bunch of boards for door panels. Uh, and I just took the bandsaw and I wheeled it over here, hooked it up to that in conjunction with my shop vac um, that does plug in under here. And I had really excellent dust collection, no issues. Um, then the six inch run here terminates and splits off into a three inch run and a five inch run. This three inch run provides overhead dust collection for my table saw and also here at my router table that's built into my outfit table. This 5 inch run comes down here and goes into the cabinet of the table saw and I also have a 4 inch branch that comes off of that and goes to my router table. So I have really excellent dust collection at the table saw and at my router table here. No issues. In fact uh, as you can see over here, I have a lot, been doing a lot of work, working on a huge project that I need to get around to assembling. Uh, <clears throat> but just show you this. Look at that. Hardly any dust in there at all. Okay? And I've been doing, you know, a lot of work, a lot of data work and stuff like that. And uh, I hardly have any dust in there. Um, because I have excellent dust collection here at the table saw. Um, so I have another video on how I modified this table saw for dust collection. That'll be coming up sometime soon, hopefully. So a few last thoughts on maintaining a centralized dust collector in, a, in my small workshop. Uh, first of all, I do have a shop vac, obviously. It's hard to get by without one in a modern workshop. Um, I use it for dust collection when I'm sanding. Uh, I'll use it on the bandsaw when I'm doing some quick work. Um, and, uh, of course, I use it for um, general cleanup. Um, the centralized dust collection system here does take up space. Granted, it does takes up about 12 square foot of space in this corner of my workshop that I otherwise really want to be using for much in my case. Um, I do have this six inch run along the wall that does take up space that could be used for things like cabinets or shelling. Um, but for me my solution for storage in a small workshop is to not store a lot in this small workshop. Uh, I fortunately have the luxury of a storage shed in my backyard where I keep a lot of odds and ends in there. Uh, I also have a corner closet in my basement um, where I keep other odds and ends, things I'm going to want to get access to more frequently. I even have uh, a trash can outside of my garage door. I keep clean and dry and I'll put cutoffs in there from products, products that I'm working on now. 
it's not air conditioning, but it keeps them clean and dry, and I can pick stuff out of there when I need something out of there. I also have a wood rack system here in my workshop that uh, is intended for just project wood, things I'm working on now. I do have some stuff up there I know I need to cull out of here and put into my storage shed in the backyard. Um, I do have a work hutch here uh, that I keep stuff in that I'm using on a regular basis. So a centralized dust collection system um, works for me, but it might not work for you either because of the layout of your workshop floor um, or maybe because of your budget. It does cost some money to have that. And I have, even though I made this myself, it's about $500 there sitting in that corner. And that's 2005 money. At any rate, if you can find anything helpful out of here about ideas on what you want to do for your own workshop for a centralized dust collection system, um, I'm glad to help. If this serves as a horrible warning to you, somehow it's like, oh my gosh, I don't want to bother doing that. Uh, you know, hey, great, then uh, I'm glad to help that way too. Um, as I tell my kids, if I don't serve as a good example, I'll just have to serve as a horrible warning. Anyway, um, so I hope you found something here that's helpful. Check out the description for more information um, that I'm not including in this video. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.